Hey, check it out. So I brought the ham home. This is why well, I brought a lot of pork home, but we're gonna do a ham today. And I'm gonna do like an apricot honey whiskey glaze over it. But first you gotta brine the ham. I don't know if you guys know, uh, there are different ways of brining the ham. There's a quick, quick brine, you can cure it using Instacure and there's, ugh, I did all this research on it. I'm just doing a quick brining. I'm gonna do it overnight and then we're going to uh, roast the whole ham. So it's gonna be pretty cool. So let me show you how I'm doing my brine. Later on, I'll do another episode on how to cure ham. That's gonna be interesting. But for right now, I got a nice, uh, what is it, seven pounds? Yep, seven pound pork leg right here. And we're going to put this in a brine. So come on in close, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, recipe's down below on amounts, but this is the amount I'm gonna be using. I may not need it all for a seven pound. So we got apple juice, water, brown sugar, bay leaves, peppercorn, and kosher salt. So we're just gonna pour it in the pot here. All right, you're gonna take this and you're gonna bring this to a boil. Basically, you want all the sugar to be diluted and mixed in and you want the peppercorn to kind of pop its flavor in it. So I'm gonna put this on the stove and bring this to a boil. Okay, so I picked up this container for brining my ham and I already checked the size. It fits perfectly in here. And then we're gonna fill it up with the uh, liquid. But first, before you put the ham in here, you're gonna to wanna to throw your brine in here and put it in the fridge. Uh, you need to keep it around 40 degrees. Uh, so we gotta cool it down and then we're gonna put the ham in and let it set overnight in the fridge. But first, cool your liquid down. So let me go grab that right now. So I'm gonna pour it in here slowly. There we go. Yeah. Okay. All right, it's nice and hot as you can see, all the steam and everything. Uh, I'm gonna put this in the, uh, in the refrigerator to cool off. And then we'll be able to put our, our ham in there. There you go, now it's all cold. It just came out of the refrigerator. It's down, uh, down to like 40 degrees, I think. There you go, straight off the pig. That's it right there. Just gonna put that in its bath. Okay, so let's take a look here. It's been uh, marinating all night. I got the oven preheating right now at 325. Okay, here's my roasting pan. And I'm literally, I'm literally using a towel to pat dry. I rinse it off really good. Just wanna make sure, don't want it to be watery because then, then the oven has to do all the work of removing the water. I want this thing to cook right away. So give it a good squeeze and pat it down. Pat dry it really well. Towels will wash. I'm gonna start this way because I'm going to, oh, that means the oven's ready. I'm going to uh, season this first, okay? So let's do that. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt, not a lot because it's been brined in salt. And dust it with the best gourmet seasoning. I'm gonna rub it in, get it all good. You may want to oil the outside like you would a turkey, so the seasoning seasoning stays in there. I'm not too worried. God's gonna have a lot of flavor. Plus, we're gonna glaze this thing when we're done. So let's. Uh, Let's just do the outside seasoning like we're doing. Get it rubbed in nice and good. Make sure the fat side is up. And it says if the bone's in, you're gonna do it between 22 to 28 minutes per pound. I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm gonna use my thermometer and I'm gonna make sure 
I have an internal temperature. Here we go. I don't want to be by the bone, so hang on a second. I want to make sure. A nice internal temperature of 155 degrees. You can pick these up at any store, any kitchen supply store, even your regular grocery store. Uh, it's an electric timer and it will alert you when it reaches the optimum temperature of 155 or any temperature you set it at. Okay, so this is what you're going to do. We're going to reduce down a few items. I got a little bit of apricot preserves that I'm going to throw in here. I'm going to put about six, about six ounces. Give or take, you can eyeball this if you want. You're also going to put in about six ounces of pineapple juice. And here's the part you're going to have to decide what you want to do. I'm using something called Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey Whiskey. If you don't want to use alcohol in this glaze, uh, you can use bourbon in this glaze, but if you don't want any alcohol, just add a little bit of honey to the mix and a little extra pineapple juice and then leave the alcohol out. For those of you who are going to write me and say, how can I leave the alcohol out? That's how you can. Uh, you're going to do about, about two ounces of that. Then you're going to reduce this down to a thick glaze and you're going to use this. I'm going to put half of this on the ham and I'm going to save a little bit to top off the plate. Okay, so here we go. This little guy is done. Now we're going to start glazing it. Let me show you how good this turned out. This turned out really well. I'm going to use this uh, brush. But look, I reduced it. Look, you see that? See how it's all thick and lovely? So I'm going to start brushing this on now. And then we're going to let that glaze for about 15 minutes. That's just going to caramelize right to the meat. It's going to be beautiful. Okay, and take the rest of this and put that in a bowl on the side. You're going to use that later on when you serve. You're going to put a little drizzle on top. Okay, now remember, everything I do on the show is first time, so I've never done this before. I'm just going to start, turn this a little bit. See if we can't get a good slice out of this. Oh, that looks beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Can you see that? That is so moist. That is awesome. All right, I'm going to carve this up. Give me a few minutes, and I'll meet you right back here. Just drizzle a little bit of this on top. Here we go. And there it is. That's it. How's that look? Oh my gosh. I can't even believe I made that. Well, there it is. My 200th episode. We did something really fancy. We did something really neat. We went out and saw where the uh, meat comes from. And then we brought it into the kitchen. And we prepared a beautiful dish. I'm going to try it right now. By the way, my new knives. All right, so let me just give it a try. I got a piece right here. Oh, wow. Ah, I, my, I'm over salivating. It's crazy. Oh, by the way, before I try this, don't forget, you want to talk to me live in the kitchen? Every Saturday morning on younow.com, join me. Also, the Cooking with Jack community is now open on Google+. Plus. If you guys are Google Plus fans, sign up for my, uh, my discussion area. We talk about food. We post videos. We post recipes. It's awesome. Uh, all the links are down below. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Looks delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Oh man. So much flavor. Wow. The meat tastes fresh. You know, not like it's been processed or from a store or something. You can totally tell it's, it's fresh pork. It's... It's really good. Wow. Absolutely moist and delicious. Sweeter than sweet, of course, because it's a glazed ham. It also has the brown sugar uh, brine we did in the apple juice. Mmm. I'm starting to get a hint of the apple juice in the meat. It's, it's amazing. It was a lot of work, but it was a piece of cake. So it takes a little bit of time to do this dish, 
but this feeds like, like it'll feed like 10 people. So try it out and let me know, okay? You guys take care. I'll see you on the next episode. Mmm.